You know those days where your brain is juggling five features, three bugs, and two quick questions from product? And your AI coding tool is like, sure, I can help. But only if we talk about one thing at a time. Today, I want to show you a tool that actually leans into that chaos instead of fighting. It's called Verdon, and it's basically an AI coding tool built for parallel tasks not just single-threaded, one-prompt-at-a-time coding. We are going to walk through a real case study, shipping a full feature from idea to code to tests to docs, while model agents handle different pieces in parallel. I'm going to show you the Verdant standalone app, where you orchestrate multiple agents and tasks at once. I will show you Verdant for VS Code, where the agent follow a structure plan, code verify loop inside your editor. And I'll give you the exact prompts I use so you can copy paste them into Verdon yourself. No AI will replace engineers. Nonsense here. We are focusing on workflow reliability and real outcomes. So imagine you are working on a SaaS application, we'll call it Postboard, a dashboard that engineering managers use to track their team's health. The feature we want to ship is a new team health page that shows the following. PR through output, open incident count, a simple traffic life status for each team. To get this done properly, we need to do the following. We need to add a new back endpoint, slash API slash Intel, build a React page for dashboard, have tests and basic documentation. As well, we need to fix an existing bug in the notification logic while we are there. So in a normal AI coding flow, you would probably do the following. Prompt your coding assistant about the API. Then you have to wait <laughs> to tweak then wait again, uh, tweak more, and then it asks you about the UE, the user interface, then separately asks about tests, then remembers that, then remember that bug you forgot three hours ago. It's very linear, even though your brain is your actual workday, is not. With Verdon, we are going to break this into parallel tests. One agent focuses on the back end, one agent focuses on the front end, another agent owns tests plus docs. And we'll fix that notification bug alongside everything else. Correct? Let me show you. So all with context preserved and separate workspaces so they don't step on each other. So first up, the Verdant standalone app. I start by creating a new test in Verdant and pointing it at my postboard repo. I give Verdant the high level goal. We are adding a Tim Health dashboard with a backend endpoint, a React page, tests, and docs. And then I let Verdant split that goal into multiple agents and tasks. Think of it like your own dev team. Agent one, backend design and implement API slash team help. Agent two, front end, build the team help React page. Agent three, Q&A and docs to add tests, to update everything, to update readme pages and MDX docs. Agent four, bug fix, investigate and fix the existing notification bug. Now, each of those runs on its own workspace so they can all be busy at the same time. Here's the fun part. I can switch between them instantly and Verdon keeps full contest per test. And when I hop from the backend test to the front end, I'm not re-explaining the entire code base every time. So the agent would remember what files I touched, uh, the decisions we agreed on, as well the plan it generated earlier. You know, this way it feels a lot closer to how we actually work. How your brain jumps between API design mode to E mode and bug fixing mode. Burden just keeps up instead of forgetting what you were doing. Also, a tiny confession, I'm not proud of how many times I opened the wrong repo 
and wondering why tests are failing. Burden at least keeps my agents in the right folder. <laughs> Let's talk about parallel tests without everything turning into a git spaghetti. In Burden, each agent can run an isolated workspace. Think separate git work trees, right? That means backend agent can refactor the API layer. The frontend agent can experiment with different UE layouts. The QA agent can generate tests and tweak them, all without everyone editing the same files in the same working directory. So while the backend agent is implementing the API slash team help, the frontend agent is already calling that endpoint, is wiring up the loading the error states, is rendering the charts or the tables. And don't forget, at the same time, the bug fix agent is off in its own branch, tracking down one notifications are firing twice, right? So you get this really nice rip. You have the agent working parallel in separate workspace, burden shows you diffs and task progress, and you decide which changes to merge, right? So which to discard and when to rerun. It's like having a team of juniors who never complain when you say, hey, can you try a totally different implementation of that? And they would say, yes, boss. And because Burden preserves context per task, when you come back from launch, you are not rereading a giant chat log trying to remember what you were doing. You just click into the task, see the plan, see the history, and keep going. Now let's jump into Burden for VS Code. This is where the plan, code, verify workflows, shines. Now I've opened the postboard repo in VS Code and I'm using the burden extension for a more traditional coding fail, but with agents doing the heavy lifting. Now for the backend endpoint, I start with planning, so no code. I tell burden something like we need a new slash API slash team help that returns peer true output open incident counts, and a simple status per team. Here's how the data is stored, right? Then Burden responds with a structure plan. Add a new service function to aggregate data, create a handler at API team health, update routing or API configurations, add tests for normal, empty, and error cases. Before it touches any files, I can also edit that plan, right? I can remove steps I don't want. I can add constraints like reuse the existing metrics service. I can call out edge cases I care about. So once I'm happy, I hit run and burden moves into the code phase. It edits the backend files following the plan and also explains what it's doing as it goes. What I like about it is that it links changes back to specific plan items. Then comes the verify phase. Burden runs tests. If something fails, the agent works to fix it. You see a clear trail of what changed and why. Same story on the front end side. Plan a new team health page React component, code it following the plan, verify the layout and logic, and your own tests actually pass. <laughs> and this is the big difference versus a lot of type of prompt get a random blob of code tools. Burden is not just giving you snippets. It gives you a repeatable process. Plan, code, verify. That means fewer mystery changes. It means fewer it works in the chat, but not in my repo moments. <laughs> and a lot more trust in the final result. Think of it as the difference between someone handing you a finished pizza versus someone showing you the receipt, the steps, the oven temperature, and the fact they did not, in fact, <laughs> forget the cheese. <laughs> what did we actually get at the end of this one? We got a working API slash team health endpoint, a React team health page wired to that API, tests for the new logic, right? And docs updated so the next person isn't guessing. And of course, the existing notification bug cleaned up along the way. The cool part for me was how it came together, right? So the standalone app let me treat this like a mini dev team. 
back end front end q &I bug fix all running in parallel with preserved content the vs code extension gave me a very controlled plan code verifiable so i wasn't just trusting random code i could see the plan inspect diffs and watch tests run right and i still say in the loop as the human in charge i did approve the plans <laughs> uh, i reviewed the diffs right uh, and I decided what to merge and what to rerun. This main burden didn't replace me. It just handled the parts of part of work my brain is terrible at, like keeping four threads of progress straight in my head without dropping anything. <laughs> if you want to try this out in your own projects, head to burden.ai. Official site is also linked in the description. Thank you for using my link. Grab yourself the standalone Burden app if you like the ideas of orchestrating multiple agents in task in parallel, install as well Verdant for VS Code if you want that structure plan code verified flow right inside your editor. And I did not forget, I'll also paste the exact prompts I used for this case study down below in the description so you can copy paste them and adapt them to your own stack. You're welcome. If you are seeing this as a short on TikTok or Instagram, on YouTube, check the caption. You will see Burton AI plus a few dev friendly tags. If this helped, hit like, drop a comment with what you built with Parallel AI Agent and subscribe for more deep dives on practical AI tools, not just hype. All right, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going back to let my little AI dev team ship the next feature. See you guys in my next AI tool recommendation. Peace out.